Bluffton continues to mourn officer Dominic Francis. The town's preparing for his visitation tomorrow, followed by his funeral on Friday. And tonight, Roxana Lee is joining us in studio. She was down in Bluffton earlier today and describes the sadness that you're seeing there right now. Jeff and Melissa, very sad day there. The passing of Officer Dominic Francis has truly rocked this small town that still can't believe what has happened in their quiet town. The people I talked with tonight say it's hard to find the words to even explain how they feel. It's been seven days since Officer Dominic Francis was killed in a police chase in Bluffton. Everything here is just very heavy right now. I, I, some of our officers have said it kind of feels like they're, they're underwater a bit. In this small town of 4,000, everyone feels the pain. La verdad nos ha a todos. The truth is, it's affected all of us. We're all really sad. It's something we weren't expecting. Like I told you, it's a very peaceful place. Everyone is very friendly. Rosalia Bañales is a co-owner of Campito Lindo. She's reminded of the tragedy daily because Francis Memorial is right outside the restaurant, a restaurant that both he and his fellow officers often visited. The majority of the police officers are our friends, and the truth is we ask them and they say they have mixed emotions, in between pain, frustration, and a little of everything. The small community here is doing what it can to support the family. On Thursday, the Finley Lodge 20 Fraternal Order of Police will hold a special service in his honor. There will be an FOP service that is afforded to all fallen members at the time of their passing, um, and we're just doing what we can to, to wrap Ricky and the rest of the family in the thin blue line, we are all family. Banales says this quiet community where everyone would smile is now filled with sadness, but says they have no choice but to be strong for one another as they lay Officer Francis to rest. We plan to go to the funeral to keep them company for a while because this is my town. They are our police officers. They are our protectors of the town. In Bluffton, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11. The Fort Finley Fraternal Order of Police is not only asking for you to continue to support the family, but all law enforcement officers out there because they are still, of course, struggling. She says you can do that by lining the funeral procession on Friday. They're expecting more than three to 5,000 uniformed officers to join on that day. Live in studio, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11. All right, Roxanne, thank you. Everyone is welcome to honor the officer both tomorrow and Friday. Visitation is tomorrow afternoon at Corey Rawson High School. It is from 3.30 until 7 in the school auditorium. And then the funeral services are Friday morning at 11 at Bluffton University. Officer Francis will be laid to rest at Clymer Cemetery. On Friday, everyone is asked to line the procession route to pay their final respects for the officer. It goes from the university to Corey Rawson School, where it will make a loop and then head to the cemetery. You can find more information on our website. And join us Friday. We will stream the entire service and procession on air right here, WTOL 11, also online. And two of the men charged in Officer Francis's death are scheduled to be in court this Friday, the day of his funeral. 20-year-old Eamon Johnson is charged with involuntary manslaughter and failure to comply. Prosecutors say Johnson was driving when he hit and killed Officer Francis. And then 21-year-old Zachary Love is charged with receiving stolen property, failure to comply, and possession of deadly weapons while under detention. Both Love and Johnson are scheduled to appear for a pretrial hearing in Findlay Municipal Court. WTOL 11 will be sure to update you after they appear.